Hello, welcome to Abduction. Yes, it's finally time. I have been mentioning this for months and we have finally here. We are finally playing it. I don't think I've gone a single series without mentioning the Myst games, which take a spot among my favorite games of all time, competing with the likes of Hollow Knight and Breath of the Wild. And the reason I love Myst so much is because it's not just a puzzle game, but the puzzles are intertwined with the world building. So in order to solve each of the worlds, you have to learn their science and technology and culture. And that means the world building is not just a place where the puzzles are, the world building itself is part of the puzzles. And so I am super excited to play another game by the creators of Myst I've never played before, and so excited to experience the same type of delight and aha moments and insight as I have with the Myst games. So let's go into it. Square, navigation type, free roam, or point and click. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. I may want to do point and click. I'm used to point and click from Mist. Even when I was given the option of free roam, I usually like to do point and click. Also, I sometimes tend to get motion sick in first person games, and free roam may make that happen. So I'm going to start with point and click. Character shadow, off, male, female, off. Let's just leave it off for now. All right, play. I have no idea if this has any connection to Mist at all. I'm just plopped right here into a land. And it's night and there's lightning. Whoa. What was that? There's, is that just lightning? It's pretty um, beamy. Pretty beamy for lightning. <laughs> all right. I'm going to walk here. We all lost everything. Everything but our stories. And they shouldn't be forgotten. Are these places to stand? Three. It was April of 1983. Cecil, it was 1870 for you. Pam and Vera, you tell it like it was yesterday, but it's been 62 years since you saw that Some last time. Time travel stuff going on? So I like this, I'm getting the hang of the controls. It seems like everywhere there's that little beacon on the ground, that means there's somewhere to walk. What was that? Cool, like fireworks? So she was talking about the flash of light. Is that what we're seeing? So remember when I started playing the Talos Principle and I spent the first half an hour looking around at all the graphics? Yeah, those graphics were actually better than these graphics. And you know what? I'm actually going to check and see whether this is recording properly because this is about the limits of what my computer is supposed to be able to handle. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I've gone into the graphics options and I have turned down most of the things to medium, but I turned the foliage to high and the water to high and the textures to high just because I didn't want the game to look bad. I want it to look good. So I'm going to actually show you what it is when everything's medium. So here's what it is when everything's medium. It doesn't look that good. Actually, the water looks all right. Um, it just doesn't look that great, but the camera movement seems a lot smoother. And uh, the foliage just looks bad, so I don't want the foliage to be on medium. But here's the differences. So medium textures, medium water, and medium foliage. And now here's high foliage high textures, and high water. It looks so much better. I want to play like this, but I'm worried that the recording frame rate is going to be bad. Uh, I also turned V-Sync onto high for now. So, um, I'm going to play through the rest of the episode like this. Let me know what you think. Is it too choppy in the frame rate? And should I go back to medium some things? Or do you have recommendations for how to make the graphics look good, but also run well on the computer? Um, I mean, even while playing this, something about the movement looks a little bit choppy, like there's a lower frame rate or something. But, uh, I guess that's how it's supposed to be. Light. That's where all of our new stories began. It streaked across the sky. Mesmerized. But unnerving. 
Even in daylight, Joseph, you said it was gloriously bright. But in the twilight, it was spellbinding. Whether it was in the deep woods like Cecil or right outside town like Jane and Jenny, we were drawn to see more. Vera, you said you were all smiling. Some of you were alone. I wasn't. My dear grandma, God bless her, rejoiced as if it was some forebearer of good fortune. Grandma lifted me from the carriage on the porch and walked into the yard so we could watch it unobstructed. We were talking about uh, watching some light in the sky, which is clearly what we're seeing right now. So maybe um, landing here is not the beginning of the game per se, but this is the this is where we begin. This is where we're abducted from. Let's go up the hiking trail. None of us understood. But, well, we followed. And we all felt some kind of trepidation, yet attraction. So we approached it and approached us. Yeah, look over here, I can. So I can't turn the camera while I'm moving, only while I'm at the spots. That kind of that's kind of it kind of makes sense, kind of in the lines of how mist and abduct or obviously this is abduction, but how mist was created. Because you know, and originally you didn't get to go between spots; it was just renders. There was no turning away. It advanced. Uh oh. Almost like. Hello. Red fruit. Slowly until, well, it found us, each of us. We should tell these stories because it, it saved us and that was Ooch. Oh no, a little stutter, a little lag in the playthrough, that means I hope it's not lagging terribly in the recording. That was neat. Oh well, we're in a new place. New territory, oh, there's no more beacon, I can just walk wherever. This is nowhere. Oh, there is a beacon. Here's the thing. Some kind of plant, it looks like. Some kind of teleporting plant. Do we get to carry items? Or just look at them? Ugh. Turn it. I want to turn it faster. No. Oh. Okay, the, the WASD turned my face. Can I move it at all? Like, turn the thing? All right. Well, it's a lantern. That's for sure. Hey, look, a pine cone. A bunch of pine cones. What's this? I can't go there. I wonder, can I use a controller with this? Ugh. Uh, right, left stick goes like turn 90 degrees. Right stick is actually, actually move. I'm going to try a controller for just a little while. Um... Oops, I took a picture. <laughs> Never mind, I cannot figure out how to move forward. Oh. It's forward on the left stick. So it takes some getting used to. I don't know, for some reason it feels easier to play while I'm using the right stick to look around. That is not usually my experience, but I mean, I guess the mouse, 
Yeah, I don't really, I don't like using the mouse to look around. So I'm going to try with the controller for a little while. This looks beautiful. Wow. Look at that up there. The floating island. And what's that by the sign? Is it a person? Is it collectible? Are there collectibles in this game? I wonder if I can increase movement speed. Not that I could tell, so we're just gonna be walking at this speed the entire game, I guess. Man, look at this, isn't this so nice? Okay, I said I wouldn't admire the graphics for 30 minutes like Talos Principle, but it just looks so nice! Oh, is this gonna be like another game that I won't mention because I don't want to spoil it, but where like you go right back to the beginning and there's a puzzle solution you could solve. Hey, look, there's something up there. There's a puzzle solution you can solve right at the beginning if you know what to look for. What is this? Am I gonna get my first save point? <laughs> Welcome to Hunroth. What's the interact button? Hi. Shora. Hello. Nihau. Welcome to Hunrad. Ohio. My name is Yosef. I am the mayor here. You are most probably a bit confused and disoriented. But let me reassure you, everything will be fine. You're not the first to go through this experience. The others who have come before you will help you adjust. Follow the trail to the house with the white picket fence. Okay. Fali will meet you there and introduce you to your new life here. All right. So we've been abducted and now we want to go to the house with the picket fence to meet Fali. Oh, this is so much like Mist, except... Except... It's just so much like Mist! Like, there, there was the video was of a, an actor just like Mist. I'm so excited, and I'm going so slow. Anyway, he said he was the mayor. Does that suggest that there's a town around here, or is that just like a translated word that he's like some kind of alien or robot, and he's like, this is a word that they'll find. They'll, it kind of captures the essence of what we mean, and they'll find it. They'll understand it. All right, we could go that way. We could go off the beaten path, or we could go right to the house first. We'll probably get something... I don't particularly want to go and explore quite yet. We might get something quest related in this house. So I noticed that the first time I started playing and recording, I didn't save. Is it saved? Does it auto save? I haven't figured out how saving works yet. So I hope that I'm not going to lose all this, although it wouldn't be too far to just play again. Alright, we got a railroad track with a switch. This is pretty common for Mist-like games. This is, I don't think this is a Mist game. I think it's just a game made by the same developers, but we can expect all kinds of technologies and... Uh, I don't know what other word to use. Technologies, levers, mechanics, machines to play with and figure out how they work. This looks like the house we're supposed to go to. Am I going to just... Nope, I have to... <laughs> I cannot climb. I must go up this way. Can I go up here? Yes, I can. Cool. No, I think I actually gonna, am going to turn on free roam and try it. Alright, so I've turned on free roam. I'm still walking very slowly. Is there... Ah, there's a sprint button. Haha! <laughs> Great! I'm going to see if I can now turn on sprint always. <laughs> no, it doesn't look like it, so I guess I'm going to have my finger held on the right bumper the entire game. Alright, this seems like the best way to play. At least for me right now. I'll switch it up if I feel like it needs to be different. Okay, I am feeling pretty good. No motion sickness yet. Farley's Communication Center. 
Hello. Hi. Um, I'm Barbie. I guess if you're seeing this, then I wasn't able to... Just in case. Um, welcome. But it's probably not safe here. To be blunt, we're getting ready for a battle. I don't know what you'll find. I just thought I should. Um, just be cautious. With who you trust, CW may be here. I don't know. Um, just be careful. I've got to go. Bye. And don't panic. As jarring as this experience is, you really will find Hunter F to be a decent place. It's a decent place, but don't trust anybody. CW might be here. CW? CW might be here. There's laundry. Can we learn about the people who lived here by the laundry? No, it just looks like towels. It just looks like towels. <laughs> okay, well, I didn't find in the options menu any opportunity to save, so I'm going to assume it auto saves. But it has not told me yet whether it auto saves. Warning, do not approach anything that even remotely resembles this diagram unless it has been disabled. Okay. All right. So it's like a dodecahedron, kinda. Do not approach a dodecahedron. All right, might as well go inside the house. Or not. It is locked. Are there any ways out into the house from the outside? As in Riven, there's a gate that is always locked and you cannot unlock it, but you can go under it. Can we go in this window? You never know. It's a mist-like made by the same developers. All right, I'm gonna check out over here. This path looks like it's a shortcut, not actually hidden. It kind of looked hidden, but it's actually a shortcut. I'm gonna go over here. Just because this looks like a nope, can't even go there. Oh, I wonder if there are puzzles that involve standing in a certain place and looking at things. Could be. And look at those rocks. They got like some kind of look like they got some kind of stinger on them. Those that looks like the insect land. I'm gonna stick to the rock land. Margaret Hartnell. Can I look more closely at it? Nope, just looks like... Just looks like I look at it from there. Oh, it's a gravestone. I wonder if these people are going to be important. They could be important. Like, these could be lore people. Sarah Hartnell. Ben... Ben... Benjamin Sims. I noticed that these are slung over the gravestones. So they might be actually covering somebody else there. What does that say? Mary? Maney? Hartnell? 1899? Okay, we could go up here. But I want to go over to here. Just because I feel like it. This is where I feel like going. And this looks like a pretty open world-ish place. So far. John Hartnell Sr. 1861 or 1881, not sure which. Yeah, if you've ever been in a cemetery and you looked at some of the really old gravestones, this is about what it is. I've actually been in a cemetery once where um, I couldn't read whose name it was on because it was so worn down and covered in licking. But I was able to figure out what it said by running my hand over the grooves and figuring out what the letters and numbers were. Beloved husband Bama, H beloved husband, Cray Car Grandfather, beloved husband, father, grandfather. Can I read it from back here better? No, I cannot. I cannot read that. Winry, Winry Hartnell, uh, M Mama Mary, over, over, uh, loved by all. Okay. All right. One of them has fallen over. 
Carl Huntrath, Hunrath, John Farley, and Robert Hartnell. Luther Roscoe, Ida Hartnell? Lots of Hartnells in this one. Maybe they were the ones who lived in that house. What is that? Never mind going this way. We gotta go over there and see what that is. There's a laser coming out of the sky. Whoa! Are there enemies in this game? It's a giant bug. A giant bug flew out of here. This is, uh... Looks like we can get rid of this. I'm guessing. Maybe by directing the laser along here? Hartnell Win wins to go. Hartnell Mining Company. Oh, I'm so excited. I am so intrigued by this game. The mysteries. Downtown Hunrath. Oh, but we gotta... Oh, we gotta go see the laser. I'll be back. I'll be back. What is that? Blue. Blue laser. Is it not letting me through? And there's the red laser. Is it going up to the sky, or is it coming from the sky? It looks like it's shooting from there. This blue laser is shooting from here. Can I sneak pie here? Can't examine. I can just walk past. What happens if I walk through? I need to know. It hits me. Okay, that's something to look at. So we can block lasers, and they don't seem to hurt us. Good to know, good to know. Might try moving that just because. Can we tell on here? Like, does it actually move the rails? Yeah, it looks like it's looks like those rails are you. You're gonna go that way, and if we move it again, is it actually? Yeah, it actually moves the rails. So neat. Okay, well I found the laser. I wonder if I can turn them on and off. Okay, I've found the laser, I know where they're coming from, and I know that you can just walk through them without anything bad happening. So, I'm gonna go back to that place that we found, that message. Hello. Thriving community here, as you can see. Our garden was planted years ago and has supplied plenty of food for many generations. The buildings around town serve multiple purposes, including housing, schooling, and storage. I'm sure you have run across a number of folks already. Many were brought here, like you. No, no and folks. Some actually were born here. We all feel we are part of the whole. It's neat how it looks like two-dimensional, but it's always facing you no matter what direction you're looking at it. So that's neat. We've got this little town, and if I know anything about the developers, they have painstakingly built this town so that every detail makes sense. We got this thing. Looks like some kind of power generator or uh, water tank. Power generator that involves a water tank. And then up here we've got a water tower. Also maybe I just maybe I shouldn't say anything but I did notice that as I'm running the stones are appearing. Yep that's because I'm using medium draw distance. <laughs> Probably. So here's the garden that they mentioned. It fed generations. No this can't be the garden that fed generations. This is not going to feed generations. A rake? Can I get it? No? Can I step on it? No. Right. See, look, look at the positions of these tools. Somebody was here with a wagon and a rake. 
And unfortunately, the garden is dying. So I wonder if this place didn't used to be a desert. I wonder if while the people were living here, it was different. Because these plants do not look healthy. Maybe it's just because they weren't cultivated. Alright, what do we want to do now? What is that? I have to see. Oh, it's attached. <laughs> I thought it was floating. Look at this. This is a thing that these people built, and it has a purpose. Maybe it just means, welcome to town. Maybe it does something. I have no idea. We got a windmill up here for energy. Is it for energy? I don't see any wires or anything coming off it. Hmm. And a water tower. Broken. So, and it, I don't see any place where it could have gone in before, so maybe it's just meant to be broken here. Or maybe there was supposed to be a tap here. Maybe it was supposed to land in the cart, so the cart would take it into town. Hmm. So we could go into the mine shaft. I want to explore town a little bit more. Look at this game, it's so neat, I'm so glad I'm playing it, it's so cool!